Hey guys, I am Colleen and I'm a person. I like to read and I like to write, but I do whatever on this channel. And today, I was supposed to be filming earlier, but there was just a lot going on as a way to hold myself accountable and actually start getting ready. I will get ready on camera. This is in no way, shape or form a helpful kind of get ready with me. I am still going to talk about books. Today I'm going to talk about um, tropes that need to be reworked, I think, in 2024. So yeah, I'm just gonna go, go ahead and start. First is uh, the Cinderella trope. It's so common that it, people don't really consider it a trope anymore. It's just sort of always there. So it's usually paired with a different trope like um, marriage of convenience or um, enemies to lovers, something more like a labeled trope rather than something that's so common that it's just always there. And I think that it needs to be reworked for 2024 because it's getting quite old. I'm, I, I was recently in a reading slump and I was searching for books to read so that I could get over the reading slump and I could not find anything that I really was okay with reading. I mean it is a trope so I to a degree expect similar concepts but does she always have to have like debt? She always has to have like she always has to live in like a condemned structure of some sort. If it's like a billionaire trope, he's gonna buy the building, he's gonna um, take over her life, like her job, because it's like usually a dead end, um, dead end or like a nearing poverty situation. Why is she always poor, basically, in these fictional scenarios I was trying to look for concealer I was trying to look for something where they're on equal footing just a story where she's not about to get evicted basically can she not get evicted is that a possibility today and if it's like a celebrity she's like always a country bumpkin of some sort and I'm just over it. I'm over it. I have read like a very few books where they're somewhat, somehow on equal footing, but very few, like less than 10. I want more. With the amount of books that, that um, utilize the billionaire, the celebrity, royalty trope, you would think that it would edge towards some kind of equality given that we're inundated with books of that trope. But no. Okay, so the second trope that I had in mind that needs reworking is sports. And um, my issue with this is very similar. Why does it have that lump? Very similar to like the Cinderella trope. I don't think I've read more than like two or three books where he's an athlete and she's also like an athlete. Maybe it's not good for the story if they're in the same field, I guess, but it's very rare that I see a story where they're both like athletes. Does that make sense? Usually she's a fan like a die-hard fan. I don't know, I want to see something else, please. Can she not be talented as well? She's always got to be the one taking pictures. This is, it's me. <laughs> Maybe it's me. Maybe it's an issue with me that I am looking for equality in these fictional things, but I'm looking for it. So if you know any books of that nature then let me know help me out if you've watched any of my previous videos you know that i really like sports romances and i have been trying my hardest to find a book 
Are they both athletes? I think Colty is one. Scoring Wilder, I think, is one. I forgot the whole title. I think it has Tomboy in it. And the author's name has Benjamin in it. <laughs> I forgot. I read it a while back. Next trope is vampires. It's 2024. Where are the vampires? Where are the vampires? Where have they gone? I mean, there are still vampire books, obviously, but very drastically different than it was 10 years ago, I guess. Maybe it's just because I was present during a time when the market was very saturated with vampire novels because of Twilight. After Twilight, um, a lot of publishing houses tried their very hardest to replicate the Twilight effect. So a lot of books got released with that concept. Not really anymore, maybe because the market got really sick of it at a point, but I'm at a stage in life where I'm ready for it to return. So please bring back the Vampire books. I think it's currently making a slow return. Bride, Ali Hazelwood, is one that's recent and it's sort of vampire but more werewolf. It's like barely vampire. One of Tessa Bailey's one I read, it was average. I think it's called Reborn Yesterday. Juliet Cross's books, part of the Stay a Spell series, I think there's one or two but again that's like a mishmash of different paranormal beings because there are like witches and and um, werewolves in that same universe that she has it's not really a, like a soul vampire sort of thing my roommate is a vampire jenna levine is also one and i think all those are like cute and but what i'm saying is compared to like 10 years ago, I would have been able to name like 15 or 20 <laughs> right off the bat. I'm just saying, can we please? It's okay now. It's okay. Um, we're not sick of it anymore. I mean, at least I'm not. So please. Next trope is something that I have not heard of in a while or found anything. Maybe I'm just bad at looking for things. Maybe I'm just bad at searching for uh, books, but amnesia trope. Amnesia is a serious thing in reality, and this is not me like trying to make light of it, but um, there was a time when the amnesia trope was really, really popular in fiction. So we're talking about fiction, no amnesia tropes which is greatly different and has a degree of unrealisticness about it. And yeah, I just miss the angst. I can't really even name any books that I read recently that are that involve the amnesia trope because I can't think of anything off the top of my head because I have not found anything that's released recently is what i'm saying the next trope is more character involved instead of like a plot trope this is the i hate everyone but you character mostly male mcs have this trait commonly not always not anymore anyway it is good but a lot of the books now it's not even, I hate everyone but you anymore. It's like, I hate everyone and I hate you too, but I'm still going to gaslight you and trick you into loving me and then ruin your life. When, when did we become okay with that? Like if he's an athlete, he's like a, an ill-tempered, um, sort of guy. I'm thinking of a particular book right now. It's like, um, I think it was called Hothead. And I forgot the author's name. He was just like a really mean person. And if he's a finance bro, if it's like a CEO type trope, 
he's like hell bent on ruining her life when did we become okay with like me guys i i read another one that i was so upset by where he during the whole book was claiming with his whole chest that he was in love with the girl okay and at like the last 20 10 percent he like totally screws her over like starts ignoring her and packs his shit up for no good reason without an explanation and then leaves and then he, i think he also took some like illegal substances and then came back high as a kite to talk to her like what what do you want to be forgiven act like it don't come in here out of your skull and then ask for forgiveness because that's not the way to be forgiven and then the mc's like oh he's changed no that was not enough time see how i'm using like the same brush for everything that's because i'm not really that good at applying makeup it's all like one process i don't experiment i don't attempt anything special is just for the one face <laughs> and yeah it also helps that i've like really dark circles my aunt joked about this with me because my dark circles are like a whole circle it's not an under eye thing it's like a whole circle i don't know if you can see that but since it's a whole circle once you conceal this lower part it's like it's a built-in eyeshadow I would really love it if you could suggest books and those tropes, the, um, the tropes that I, the, the amendments that I demanded. I recommend some books if you know any good books of that nature. <laughs> then tell me, and I didn't finish my makeup, maybe I'll do a part two of this <laughs> because I am a yapper and I haven't highlighted, haven't done basically anything because i am not a professional when it comes to applying makeup and talking so maybe i'll continue the reader chat in the next video <laughs> okay i'll do that okay later